Fox here from CES 2011 at the Intel press conference. It's pretty interesting. They're releasing all their new Sandy Bridge products with uh, integrated graphics and really fast video transcoding. So take a look. And the prospects for Intel and for the industry growth in this new connected smart environment are really unprecedented. So as we look at 2011 and 2012 and beyond, and this whole new spectrum of computing being developed and delivered, we get very, very excited. At CES this year, you're going to see a lot from Intel. The netbook this year will ship well over, last year will ship well over 30 million units, and I think we'll ship substantially more than that in 2011. Over 100 new Atom-based netbooks and tablets will enter our InDesign now and will be shipping in the marketplace during the first half of this year. We've also begun to create new ecosystems with the automotive manufacturers. And it's, I think it's interesting to note that you've got two major auto CEOs, auto company CEOs, speaking at keynotes at CES. Uh, the, the integration of the internet-based uh, connectivity and, and intelligence into the car is critical to the cars of the future, to make them more safe and more interesting and more and more uh, useful to us as users. But more importantly, perhaps most importantly, we take advantage of the world's most advanced leading edge silicon technology, 32 nanometers. And in fact, the graphics engine that's shipping on Sandy Bridge is in fact the world's first 32 nanometer based graphics and media engine in the industry. What does this give us? So what? Well, integrating this architecture gives us the ability to do things that discrete units can't do. I mentioned power management, uh, at, the, at a very fine-grained level a minute ago. But we can also do transcoding. So who cares about transcoding? That means simply that you can move video from one format to another. Today we're launching 20 new microprocessors, over 500 new design wins, shipping, laptops, desktop models, and everything in between. Today, we are selling 1 million PCs every day. Yes, 1 million PCs every day. And it's not luxury, it's necessity. But the customer of these PCs are changing. And the change is dramatic, is accelerating, and it has a major impact on our ecosystem. While the overall market is growing, the major driver for this growth is the consumer. The consumer percentage of the total pie, and I'm speaking notebook in this case, is growing from 29% in the year 2000 all the way to 66% today. What a phenomenal growth. So, if the world is moving from business enterprise to consumer, I believe it will be fair to say that consumer is a king. And because I'm in the US, I have to be politically correct, and I've got some legal people over here, definitely I'll say it's also a queen. <laughs> I need to be safe. So, it's definitely a totally new world for internet for all of us. When you speak with business, when you speak with enterprise, you speak to the brain. When you speak with consumer, you speak to the heart. Two billion videos viewed every day on YouTube alone. That's content consumption. But at the same time, and people do not know about it, people upload, upload more than two million minutes of video every day. That's content creation. And I'll come to it later on, because there's a confusion if people like to do consumption or creation. They like to do both, and I'll speak about it. If you look at the pictures, last but not least, 2.5 billion photos are uploaded every month to Facebook alone. And again, I don't have the statistic of Tencent and all the other social networking. 2.5 billion. Integrate everything with the same chip. You'll see that there are quite a few resources that everybody is using other resources in order to be more effective, in order to give better performance and responsiveness, and in order to reduce the power consumption. Effective, if you take one human hair, the diameter of the human hair, if you put it on this dye, will cover 2,500 transistors under one human hair. Now, all of you know Moore's Law, 1.16 billion transistors. Most of you, the average, the smart one, you've got 100 million 
neurons in your brains. So if you look at Mulo, pretty soon we are going to go after you. <laughs> so see, you'll see 800% faster when you are trying to run Excel spreadsheet, or 300% when you are trying to do slideshow. But actually, Cinebench, it's utilized 100% of the performance that every microprocessor can have. And we've got three systems. The left system is the second generation Core i7. Sandy Bridge, the middle one. The middle one is last year's core, previous generation. The best microprocessor in the world until today. This is the middle one. And the right one is the three-year-old Core 2 Duo system. OK, so what we see over here is that we are rendering the 3D pictures. We can see on the widget the turbo, so we see that all the systems are running in turbo mode in order to deliver performance on demand. And the idea, finish the task as fast as possible, deliver back the response, go to sleep, and save power. This will take us, this is going to 345 frames per second. This can do hardly half, 136 frames per second. This is already done in 17 minutes. This is already working. But this is not the interesting thing. The interesting thing is that I didn't compare this PC to this PC. Don't look at the screen, look at me. <laughs> I compared this PC to this notebook with processor graphic. So here, the transcoding was done with the Sandy Bridge processor graphic. And here, this was done with a honky big discrete graphic card it cost more than $400. And I believe it will be safe to say, guys, that today Sandy Bridge is probably doing transcoding faster than any discrete graphic card in the market. I was to be able to use this platform on a global basis. So actually, you believe that the link that we did is secured enough for you to put your most valuable IP on our stuff, Absolutely. on our PCs. Absolutely. And I think that. The challenge, and Gabe and I were talking about it earlier, is now you've taken the excuse away from us. You've now, we now are going to put our content out earlier, as you mentioned, in high definition. And the challenge now for us is going to be, how do we now make content an entertainment as a service? Because the PC is the expectations for consumers, you're showing all that stuff, is that we're now going to make this a service versus just a product. All right, so that's what Intel has to offer. And uh, if you want to support our show, subscribe to the feed and check out Zazzle. Use our code down here and save 10% on orders of $50 or more. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another episode. This has been a Two Smart Guys production.